Hi there, Frank here from Remec, and in this short video, actually 30 minute video, we're going to demonstrate how BT, our intelligent self learning algorithm, would perform on a what some would say an extremely small chart 250 ticks on the micro NQ. But many traders, retail traders, trade this instrument on various time frames. So this is admittedly a very fast chart, as you will see. And on a time frame like this especially speed is of primary importance and as we know or hopefully you will know or you will see that pro strbt is lightning fast now before we start watching the action on the market i'd like to say a few words about how this algorithm was built and what is our strategy and what are the rules what are the opportunities in the market that we're looking for and also how we manage trades once we're in trades. Okay, so the first thing, the first event that we'll be looking for is a trend. And a trend is indicated, is all programmed in the software, but you will see visually, of course, that we are in a trend, the various indications visually, and the mathematical calculations by the software is always done in the background, but the software also places visual clues on the chart, so you always know what's happening. So first is our dotted line indicates the trend. The yellows within the trend are consolidation areas, and then we have the what we call the Remec cloud, a linear regression calculation and the width many of you will know the width of the cloud is actually an indication of the strength of momentum so you will see that as momentum wanes we will start to not want to take trades in sideways areas also you will notice that in all this area here the momentum is very minimal and this is these are the areas where our chop filter our built-in chop filter will come to our help and will save us from a lot of trouble because if you notice in these areas there will be no signals and that's automatically done so by the software we have said many many times but let me just repeat that this is a self-adjusting self-learning software so as the conditions on the market change the software goes with it and changes itself as required by the market action so it's volatility adjusted trading strategy that's the technical term okay so what are we going to do here we're looking for a trend and then within that trend we're going to look for pullbacks in these areas where price comes back towards the middle this could be bull flags or bear flags and please note that not every flag is necessarily sloping there could be horizontal consolidation areas so these are just areas where price stops and takes a little breather and then what we'll be looking for is re-emerging momentum out of these areas the continuation of the original trend and as you see from this area here no trend ever continues forever so after a while the trend weakens and usually turns into some sideways action and these are the areas where we're not really keen on participating and so all these areas this is where our chop filter will help us to filter out potentially unusable triggers all right so that's the plan and as to the settings you will notice that on each trigger we're going to enter with two contracts there will be a stop below the position the stop will be three ATRs away somewhere here and as you know our Keltner channel is actually five ATRs wide from the midline two ATRs 2.5 ATRs this way and 2.5 this way so that's five altogether and our three ATR stop actually would be perhaps somewhere a little closer if we enter here perhaps somewhere here somewhere midway towards the opposite Keltner that also means that if we get hit if our stop gets hit that's not really a trade we want to be in then we'd rather be out and be stopped out than 
suffer further losses because then probably the market is up to something that we are we don't want to participate at least not with a long trade all right and then so two contracts both contracts will have a three ATR stop and then the first contract will have a 1.5 ATR target that's rather aggressive again this is not an endorsement or a recommendation these settings could be set to anything you'd like in the software and we encourage you to do your own testing for your circumstances so this is just an example but in this example the first target is set at 1.5 ATR from the entry if it gets hit or stop the remaining contract stop will be pulled up to two ATRs behind our entry or actually behind our position so we will start tightening our stop and then after that with each candle we will keep tightening the stop until we get graciously stopped out so that's the plan and let's see how the software performs and how it makes objective decisions unbiased decisions based on data coming in from the market mathematical calculations are run with lightning speed in the background visuals are put on the chart to help us to see where we are in the evolution of a certain setup or a certain trade and also you will see the areas on the chart where we do not want to participate which is also just as important as areas where we do want to participate so without further ado let's start this exercise and I will probably make some further comments as things start to develop so we are in the first trade as you can see two contract a stop three ATRs away and our first target is just about to get hit if everything goes well here we are and now we are trailing the second position from behind and we are tightening the stop with every closed candle and we are stopped out so first trade is done we are waiting for any further opportunities the trigger is here we go the blue arrow is the trigger we are in a trade same situation over and over and over again you can see that the width of our Remek cloud the blue area the width of that cloud which is a linear regression calculation provides information on the strength of the momentum and the trend so the cloud is widening we don't really have anything to worry about right now so the second trade is done and as you see markets by nature work in or move in momentum pullback momentum phases so here's the third trigger we are long again same rules the first target is hit we're just waiting for a little candle movement here we go so the trailing stop has kicked in Here we go we're trailing the second position and now the third trade is done now you can guess that sooner or later we're gonna we're, we're gonna hit a loser and that can happen when there's a sudden market movement that stops us out or if the trend weakens so here we are this is the fourth trade we're in we're trading the second one so everything is working okay so far as you see in the upper left corner we are also getting written messages to help our work and at all times we know our risk we know how many US dollars equals one ATR we're always thinking in ATRs in this strategy so there may be some early warnings that you might notice as to the strength of the trend for example this one this uh, topping action here is always an early indication of potential weakening of the of the trend and also as you can see in this area the 
cloud or linear regression, which is an indication of the strength of the momentum is waning dramatically. In this situation, we might get another signal which could or could not be a winner. So let's see. So far, we're not getting any long signals here. And you can also see that the linear regression calculation, the REMEC cloud, has turned kind of pinkish color. So that's a first initial or early bearish indication. The software understands this and does the appropriate calculations. And now we are most likely, we're working on catching the first bear flag. Let's see what the software does. Now, there's certain inputs, various inputs going into the mathematics of this. So, so here we go. The trend now mathematically also is turning bearish or downtrend. And the REMEC cloud is widening. So we can expect possibly a short signal out of this bear flag. Unless the bear flag fails, which means bullish momentum enters the market let's see what happens you can also see that this is pretty much sideways action and the software smartly is not taking any triggers there could be triggers being calculated in the background but they're suppressed we don't, we don't even see them and we're certainly not taking them. So these sideways market are, for the most part, ignored by our strategy. So it seems like some bullish momentum is entering the markets. We have hit the upper Keltner. That's the first signal. Here we go. The, the trigger, it happens fast, but no worries because the software knows how to do this at lightning speed and we are trailing our second contract. So that was the fifth trade, I think. So this is what the software does over and over and over again. And of course, if you want to have a coffee break or the conditions are not ideal for trading, then of course, you can just press the blue button and switch the strategy off. If you're new to our software, you will also want to know that the auto button, that's the button for either taking trades in both directions, long and short, or restrict as you will, the directions of trades to either long or short. In this situation, we are letting the software decide the direction of the next trade. So therefore we are in auto mode. So here's another trade in the meantime. Now, again, the exact settings are totally up to you. It doesn't have to be 3 ATR. It doesn't have to be 1.5. You can set these settings in the software any way you want. And of course, you're encouraged to run your own tests. And again, this is not a recommendation to either the instrument or the time frame or the settings. This is just a demonstration of the robustness of our software and the power of what we have built here. Okay, so the momentum is waning. So this is perhaps we'll end up being our first loser. So watch this. We have the stop there. And sooner or later, we're going to hit a loser. No question about that. And here we are. So we suffered the first loss. Now we are actually entering a short trend. And the software automatically, if any areas emerge, which are good for us to enter short, no doubt we'll identify the trigger and we're going to go short. But only if all the conditions programmed into the software and also the settings that you define are met. Here we go. There's a short trade right now. Momentum above us is widening. So, so far we're doing good. First target hit. We just want to tighten the stop. Hopefully we need a couple of more ticks to the downside for the trading stop to kick in.
here we go and from here it's basically a break-even trade we made a little money on the first contract even if we get stopped out from the second we're good let's see how it turns out so we are stopped out from the second not a problem and now we are just looking for the next opportunity again just let me sum up the visuals again on the chart so we have the Keltner channel the blue line from the midline is 2.5 ATRs away and then we have the Remek cloud the widening of which is an indication and a, an objective mathematical measurement of momentum it helps our work and then we have the ADX VMA R version of it which gives us a reliable indication of where the trend is going and last but not least we have the triggers which sum up all the inputs going into the algo and give us the ideal entry points once we're in the trade our trade management rules take over and take the trade to its completion either to be a loser or to be a winner so that's how it goes you are always in control at any time you can always press the blue button and stop trading stop taking trades and also if you want to ignore one side because you're a trader and basically you are the pilot of the plane you are always in charge then you're most welcome to switch it to long only or short only and then only those sides will be taken so it looks like we're gonna be in another good trade here here we go we're trading this one tightening stops here we go another signal came in but we're not taking more signals because we're already in a trade so we're not piling up positions in the same direction so here we are we took this one too that's another winner so we had about what six to eight winners perhaps and we had one loser so far now it's not always like this but we're gonna keep going and I'll stop talking here and I'll let you watch this video which there's about minutes more to go and if you have any questions please write to us at remac.ca slash contact or visit our other videos and learn more information about this mighty product thank you very much and mindful trading